Well, Baltimore Ravens running back Ray Rice breaks his silence today, apologizing to his wife and his fans for the allegations that he attacked his wife, knocking her unconscious in a casino elevator this last February. All right, that is not the right video. It will also help the country rebuild. It will also help the country rebuild some of its destroyed infrastructure. At least one of the two American aid workers. We will begin with CBS 13's Anjali Hemphill. Uh, more of what we learned about the patient at Kaiser South. Anjali, are you there? Uh, obviously, Anjali cannot hear us at this time. It's a tremendous effort on the part of our crew, and it's a great. I didn't force anything down anybody's throat. I didn't make anybody stay here until 7 a.m. or 11 or whenever it is everybody finally left. I didn't make this kid pass out on my floor. People wanted to be here. That was their decision. Uh, Adam, what kind of calls are you getting right now? Any damage, any injuries? Yes, good morning. Well, because of the early morning, uh, it's such that it was so early in the morning, most people were at their homes when it happened. And what we believe is that this was a rumbling from Howard Stern's butt crack. All right. Obviously, uh, that is not who we expected it was to be. We apologize for that so early in the morning. Sheriff's Office Crimes Against per Persons Special Unit Crimes Unit is asking for your help in, find in, helping in finding the person involved in a kidnapping case. We have limited information at this time, but here's what we know so far. The kidnapping happened yesterday, or Friday afternoon, I'm sorry, around 5.15 in the afternoon in the area of the Horizon High School. We have a picture of the person and the truck pictured below that police are looking for. If you have any information regarding the person involved or the vehicle, they are asking that you contact the sheriff's office immediately. Keep it right here on Morning Jew. Joe. The White House is clearly, I would assume, hoping that this will be part of the president's legacy given uh, his background. Yeah, the fact that he's from Kenya and the fact that when he was elected, there were expectations on the African continent. Pretty nice fucking weather here the last week of August. Do you like summer? We are doing into week number, weekend number two of what we're calling the Cajon Crawl. Uh, here's some video from him. Not that so much, but what we saw a moment ago might stop for some salad on the way. They do believe the lightning hit the back of the house, a tree near the house, and perhaps an antenna maybe bouncing off of one another or all at once. Another storm's moving and we've got to go. Just to keep panic at bay here, we do have breaking news right now. Facebook is down. We're expecting this to, uh, you know, trend on Twitter any moment. Here's the screen grab we have from our newsroom where people are unfortunately having trouble getting on. I got on, but nothing's uploading. Nothing is updating. It just allowed me to send a friend request. That's all. And in all seriousness, on Twitter, yeah, I just went and checked. Yeah, uh, right now, hashtag Facebook down, trending. Facebook says... They're working on getting it fixed soon. How about that? GE Vargas Falls, you can for Wednesday, the 20th of August, 2014. You're joining us live from RT Stage B. It was great. And apparently, I've never been on live television before, but apparently sometimes I don't watch the sh I don't watch the news because I'm a kid. And apparently, every time, apparently, Grandpa just gives me a remote after we watch the Powerball. It's the Powerball. <laughs> Tell me about the ride. What did you think about the ride? Well, it was great. Why? Because apparently, you're spinning around. Apparently every time you get dizzy, yeah. that's all you do is get dizzy. 
fun? Yeah. Right. And I've never ever been on live television. I never ever be on live television. Are you excited? Yeah, and apparently I only went down the super slide. When I went down the wall, I was scared half to death. I just freak out. Lewis Slung Pew, I hope I pronounced the last name correctly. Uh, yes, ma'am, it's Slung Pew. Oh, thank you very much. What can you tell us about this? Or, or is it something you've ever seen before like this? Uh, well, well it, it appears that we have a water main that broke, and the apparent cause of the water main that broke was, uh, you know, it's coming into us from our, from, our, from our troops on the ground, basically that a couple of college students might have sent down a cherry bomb down the toilet. What? Oh. Can you say that again? Right. You think somebody sent a cherry bomb down the toilet? Yeah, it's that. Uh, we we try to put on seminars, you know, yearly, explaining how dangerous it is to send uh, any kind of explosives down uh, down a, a plumbing drain. But uh, you know, that's what that's what is coming back to us. You know, we had a pressure break uh, around sunset, and uh, the cherry bomb must have popped through the uh, the top of the pipe and uh, just blew the bottom right out of it. Well, is this something that happens because of the UCLA campus and kids playing around, or is it the high school campus, or do you know the source? Uh, right now, we're still in the investigation phase. It, it just seems that uh, it seems that the break might have come somewhere around the Poly Pavilion area, one of the locker rooms. It was, it was either a, a, a cherry bomb or someone took a really large dump, you know? That is an incredible... So, are you 100% sure about that? Is that is, is, that's, a, that's a fake call. Oh, we, we lost him. I'm sorry about that. We hope to get, get him back. Travis is that girl from the TV station. Travis is that girl!